Ovarian cancer is a cancer that arises in the ovary. The ovaries are reproductive organs in a woman's body that produce hormones and eggs that if ultimately fertilized would become a baby. Risk factors would include infertility, difficulty with having a child or having very few children. Uh, another risk factor is family history. Women who have a history in their family or within themselves of ovarian cancer, breast cancer, colon cancer, or uterine cancer would be at an increased risk to develop ovarian cancer themselves. The National Cancer Institute recognizes four symptoms that should increase the index of suspicion for ovarian cancer. Those would include abdominal pain or bloating, urinary frequency, or indigestion. However, the most common complaint for ovarian cancer is nothing at all. The diagnosis of ovarian cancer is made by biopsy, by removing lumps or bumps or masses that are found within the abdomen that represent ovarian cancer. It used to be that ovarian cancer was thought to be a death sentence, but in recent years we have realized the absolute importance of the first surgery for ovarian cancer. The surgery is called a debulking surgery and that means removing every lump or bump in the belly that is related to the ovarian cancer. Without that surgery, long-term survival is nearly impossible. Following a debulking surgery, patients receive chemotherapy, and their chances of remission are actually quite high. One of the problems with ovarian cancer is that we do not have a test that can find the disease early. So the majority of patients who come to see us have an advanced stage of disease by the time they are cared for surgically. Ovarian cancer is most commonly found in the sixth decade. However, we are increasingly finding women who are younger and younger with ovarian cancer. This is likely related to their family history or genetic mutations that occur that place those women at risk for ovarian cancer.